Question number 12 says two lines passing through the point 2 comma 3 intersects each other at an angle of 60 degree intersect each other it should be intersect each other two lines passing through the point this intersect each other at an angle of 60 degree if slope of one line is 2 find equation of the other line okay pretty interesting let's say we have two lines passing through the point 2 comma 3 okay this is a point 2 comma 3 which is a common point and this is L1 this is L2 let us see Okay. And if slope of one line is 2, intersect each other at an angle of 60 degree. This particular angle is given as 60 degree. Let's say the acute angle. It, the other angle will be 120 degree, but we are going to restrict it this one. At an angle of 60 degree, if slope of one line is 2, this is L1 and the slope M1 is 2. The slope M is not known for this. Okay, Let's call this M2. M2 is not known and the equation is also not known. This L2 has to be found. Okay, we are supposed to find the equation of this L2, the other line. Okay, so how do we deal with this? Right, one thing is given this is angle is 60 degree, and we can apply concepts of tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2. Its modulus will be equal to this, right? That is something which you can apply. And using this, I can maybe get a value of m2, right? If I get m2, I already have a point, I can use the point slope form to get the equation of line L2. It's pretty simple, right? So let's do the calculations now. Therefore, tan 60 degree is equal to m1, which is 2 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1, which is 2 and m2, the modulus. Tan 60 degrees square root of 3, right? This is square root of 3. So 2 minus m2 upon 1 plus 2m2 modulus will be equal to root 3 or this becomes plus or minus minus root 3 this or this you can say this or this let's try to solve for m2 over here this tells me that 2 minus m2 is equal to root 3 plus 2 root 3 m2 or or you can have 2 minus m2 is equal to minus root 3 minus 2 root 3 m2 this is what you will get is that okay yes this is what you get let's bring terms having m2 on the right hand side or on one side this is 2 minus root 3 is equal to uh, 1 plus 2 root 3 times m2 actually this tells me m2 will be equal to 2 minus root 3 over 1 plus 2 root 3 this is the value of m2 okay or you can have another value of m2 as well which will be obtained using this idea is 2 root 3 minus 1 m2 will be minus 2 minus root 3 over 2 root 3 minus 1 this is the other value of m2 this or this okay once you have found the two values of m2 it is time to find the equations using these two values of line 2 so for line 2 i have point is 2 comma 3 m2 this is what you have so equation will be equal to y minus 3 is equal to m2 times x minus 2 okay we'll have y minus 2 is equal to m2 times sorry y minus 3 is equal to m2 times x minus 2 this will be the equation if this is equation y minus 3 times this 2 minus root 3 upon 1 plus 2 root 3 x minus 2 this will be one of the equations or there will be another equation we will solve that later for this particular value but let's simplify this further this becomes 1 plus 2 root 3 y minus 3 minus 6 root 3 is equal to 2 minus root 3 x and multiplying by this minus 4 plus 2 root 3 is what I get let's simplify this and bring everything on one side this is 2 minus root 3 x minus 2 root 3 plus 1 y and uh, this becomes 3 minus 4 which is minus 1 minus 6 root 3 this becomes plus 8 root 3 is equal to 0 this is one equation this is one equation this tells me this is one of the equations let's check the calculations once this is 2 minus root 3 1 plus 2 root 3 y minus 3 x minus 2 this becomes 1 plus 2 root 3 minus 3 minus 6 root 3 2 minus root 3 times x and minus 4 plus 2 root 3 is what i get 
and this comes over here this is minus 1 root 3 and this is plus 8 root 3 this will also come on this side and this will become minus right that's one of the equations or the other equation can be obtained using this value of m2 right the other equation can be obtained using this particular value this tells me y minus root 3 sorry y minus 3 once again this is y minus 3 right y minus 3 is equal to minus of 2 minus root 3 you can take a minus common and you have 2 root 3 minus 1 times x minus 2 this is what you get let's rearrange the equation let's rearrange the equation and see where does that take us okay let's use a different color this is y times 2 root 3 minus 1 minus 6 root 3 and plus 3 is equal to on the right hand side you have minus x times 2 plus root 3 and you have plus 4 plus 2 root 3 where will that take us okay this will take us let's bring this x term on the left hand side this becomes 2 plus root 3 times x plus 2 root 3 minus 1 times y and minus 1 minus 8 root 3 is equal to 0 this is the other equation that i'll get that's my answer for this part this is first part okay this or this there are two possible answers yes and we have found them now where are we getting two possible answers basically this is the line l1 which is given and there's another line l2 which makes an angle of 60 degree this can be this side or it can be this side as well so you'll get another l2 prime over here this is what i'm getting over here since angle 60 can be formed in this way as well therefore we are getting two answers pretty long answers but yes that's the complete solution of this question over here as you can see complete thing over here behind me right this is question number 12th for us